Hello, my friends. I am Kathy Adams Clark. I'm going to show you very quickly how to get rid of reflections off of a bottle or other shiny objects. So I'm in Bridge right now, and you can see that I have taken a whole bunch of photos of the same bottle of wine. And in each one of the photos, I have moved a reflector around, or I've held up a black cloth, or I've um, changed the shades in the room. I've done everything I can to get rid of the various reflections that are showing up on that bottle. And each time I get rid of one reflection, I just take another picture. So I've got the camera on the tripod. It's not moving. Aperture priority, so the exposure is the same. And now I'm going to take each one of those photos. I've opened them into Bridge or Lightroom if you're a Lightroom user. And I am going to click Tools. I've got them all highlighted, all the photos highlighted. I'm going to click Photoshop. And I'm going to click Load into Photoshop Layers. Now if you're a Lightroom user, I don't have the photos in Lightroom, but I'm just going to use these two photos right here as an illustration. You highlight the photos that you want to open up into Photoshop layers, and then you go to Photo, and then you go all the way down to Edit In, and at the very bottom you'll see Open as Layers in Photoshop. So what this is going to do out of Lightroom is open up Photoshop and open up all of your layers. Now, that obviously means that you've got to have Photoshop installed on your computer. So I have done that in Bridge, because once again I use Bridge. So I've gone to Tools, Photoshop, and Load into Photoshop Layers. And then you have to wait just a bit because it's going to, your computer is going to load all of the photos into a layer palette in Photoshop. So you just have to wait a little bit for all the photos to load. And you notice that I have got photos all the way from 1443 all the way down at the bottom to 1472. So I ended up taking 30 something photos of this silly wine bottle. So I've got them all loaded into my layers palette. If you don't see your layers palette, by the way, go to, this is in Photoshop, go to Windows. And when you click on Windows, go down to Layers and click Layers. So that's how you get your Layers palette over here. Now, over on this side, you'll notice that there is, of the Layers palette, you'll notice that there's an eyeball next to every photo. That means that that photo is visible, so we're able to see it. I'm going to select all of the photos in my layer, all 30-something photos, selected them all. How I did that, I clicked on the first one, put, held down my shift key, clicked on the last one, and that selected all of them. Now right up here, next step, where it says normal, where my cursor is, I'm going to pull that down and I'm going to go to darken. And when I go to darken, what it does is the software looks through all of those layers and it darkens any bright spots that aren't in the same location on all the photos. So it's the opposite of lighten. Lighten we do for star trails. Darken we do to get rid of reflections. And now you can see my photo and you notice that I kicked the tripod because I'm not, my wine bottle isn't aligned. So we're going to go back up to the top, and now we have to do a little bit of housekeeping. Unclick all of the layers, so they're not all grayed out anymore. And let's start figuring out where I kicked the tripod. So I'm going to start getting rid of that eyeball. And when I get rid of the eyeball, keep moving down, keep moving down, keep moving down. Now I see when we finally got everything going pretty good was at 1149. But I know that I've, I've, I've still got this, this irregularity showing up in my wine bottle. There it is, blown up. So I've got this irregularity showing up in my wine bottle where I kicked the tripod somewhere during this whole process. 
So that tells me somewhere along this line I kicked the tripod. So I'm going to start at the bottom now and I'm going to get rid of each layer until I get the alignment right. So it looks like I kicked the tripod in the beginning and it looked like I kicked the tripod a little bit later on. So I'm just going to take the eyeball off of each one of the layers and you notice right there you can see one of the layers. I'm going to take the eyeball off of each one of the layers. That means it's not visible. And once I get to number 4157, aha, now they're all lined up. And so now that these are all lined up, I can go highlight darken and you see that I've gotten rid of most of the problem but I still haven't gotten rid of this glare right over here but I know that at least these photos are lined up and if you want to unclick each one of them then you can see a little bit of how I'm working to try to get each one of the layers so I'm going to go down to 158 I'm going to unclick all of these. There we go. I'm going to go to 158 and I'm going to highlight once again all the way to the end. Shift key, click, hold it down. And I've still got, and now I'm going to turn them all back on. Okay, everybody's all turned on, but I've still got an out of alignment going on. See right here? So I've got somewhere where well, once again I clicked on my, I kicked on my tripod. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing that I did before. I'm going to start clicking off of the tops. Top one, that looks like we're lined up pretty good, but not quite as lined up as if we eliminate those two. So now I have from 1460 all the way to 1472. Notice that there's not a glare on that bottle. So I had to do, first of all, take a bunch of pictures, removing the glare as much as I can with each photograph. And unfortunately, I kicked my tripod in the meantime So while I was taking the pictures. So make sure that you take a lot of pictures because you might do the same thing. And now I've got a darkened layer going on and that has darkened everything up. It's a little dark in my opinion, so I'm going to highlight my top layer, highlight my bottom layer, shift key, click, so I've got all of them. And now I'm going to take the opacity slider and I'm going to move my opacity slider over toward the left hand side. What I'm doing is I'm cutting through the layers so that they're not as dark. So I'm cutting through the layers and when I hit 48 I got a glare right there. I got a reflection right there. So I'm going to keep going back the other direction until that glare goes away and at 59 that glare on the right hand side went away. So by eliminating the opacity I could go through and cut the cut how deep it was cutting into. So that my friends is a simple easy way to get glare off of a shiny object when you have have blocked the glare off that shiny object during various photos. So it's layering to get rid of the glare. Simple and easy. No masks required. Thank you very much. I'm Kathy adams Clark. If you like this video, subscribe, like it, and if you've got any questions, post them below. And remember, this is a simple method, not complicated. Thanks for joining me.